Some people use even like a blender. A blender to shred chicken? <laughs> yeah. That's weird. <laughs> Hey, good morning guys. Welcome back to the vlog. Today we're gonna be cooking something in this, Jules. Yep. What is this thing again? This is an Instant Pot, and thanks to Dana again so much for letting us borrow it for a little bit longer. That's right guys, the Instant Pot. Some of you were wondering what it is. It's kind of like a crock pot cross Pressure cooker. Pressure cooker. So it's like a super fast crock pot. Yep, exactly. Basically. So you can make your crockpot recipes, but a lot quicker. That's right. Today we are making another keto recipe. It is called crack chicken. <laughs> and I think it's called crack chicken because it's so good and so addicting. Right, we're not actually making drugs here, guys, but it's supposed to be super delicious chicken. We have cheese and cream cheese, bacon, chicken, lots of different seasonings, chives, onion powder, garlic powder, uh, red flakes black powder, I mean black pepper, salt, and apple cider vinegar. Oh, one more thing, chives. We're using chives. All right, so we're gonna go to our instant pot and the first thing we need to do is hit the saute button. Okay, saute right here. While we wait for two minutes, we're gonna cut up our bacon. And today, guys, we are gonna be cooking up some great value bacon. Yeah, this stuff is actually pretty good and it's way cheaper than all the name brand bacon. Great value at Walmart. It's good and cheap. All right, so we gotta cut up some bacon here. And uh, Jules is, oh, I thought you were gonna use the scissors. Well, I was, but I thought people would think that was weird. Ah. <laughs> We're already weird. But it's really efficient. Like to me, it's way more efficient to cut your bacon with scissors than it is to chop it with a knife. It just makes so much more sense to me when you need little pieces. Yeah, and especially when you're using like a serrated knife like that. Yeah. If we had if we had a regular good knife, it might cut through it real quick. And we're doing a little bit more bacon than a recipe calls for because, well, we like bacon. <laughs> Remember that um, running and or mm -hmm. jogging and bacon club. <laughs> yep. That's funny. Okay, that'll do. All right, so the Instapot says saute and on even though the lid is off. So apparently you can saute stuff in there without the lid on. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, so we're gonna saute this up until it's brown. The bacon smells so good. Okay. And it, it sautes stuff up really good in there. Yep. Okay. And what's cool, Jules, the splatter stays all inside the pot because it's so tall. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Usually like my kitchen floor is covered in grease after I cook breakfast in the morning. The kitchen floor? Yeah, because it comes off of the stove. Wow, that's crazy. So Sauteing if you it up. a little bit longer, it's not crispy. All right, now we're gonna take the crispy bacon out, set it aside, and there's still a lot of fat in there. We like that. <laughs> Adds flavor. That's right, that's some good stuff. Yeah. All right, so we set this aside. Make sure it's cooked all the way though because it's not gonna cook anymore. This is added at the end of the recipe. Yeah, that looks like it's gonna get crispy. Yeah, definitely. All right, now we wanna cancel the saute. So where is it? There's so many buttons. Cancel's red. Cancel. Now let's add the chicken to our crock pot. No, it's not a crock pot, it's an instant pot. Oh, that's a lot of chicken. Two pounds. You think that's more than two pounds? Yeah. How about one more? Okay. <laughs> I didn't weigh it, I don't have a food scale. Now our cream cheese. And this is a lot of cream cheese. We're using two blocks. I think that's why it, make, why it tastes so good. We're in there. One. These are difficult to open, I think. Oh wait, look at there, there's instructions. Open along the center stream at the end. There we go. Okay, that's two. And we got a half a cup of water, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. That smells gross. One tablespoon of dried chives, one and a half teaspoons of garlic powder, one and a half teaspoons again of onion powder, one teaspoon of crushed red peppers. 
These are actually from Domino's Pizza. <laughs> quarter teaspoon of salt and quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Wow, that's really colorful. Yeah, look at that. Fancy. Now we're gonna put the lid on. Let's see if I can do this. Okay. And we're gonna put it on manual for 15 minutes on high. So where's the... It's on high. Oh, and it's already on 15 minutes. Perfect. Okay, so now we wait. Make sure the thing's closed though. Um, sealing, venting, it's on seal. Cool. All right guys, 15 minutes. If you don't have an Instapot and you've always wanted to try it, there's a link down in the description where you can pick up an Instapot. There's also a link to this recipe down in the description as well. So go ahead, check it out. They're down there while we wait for 15 minutes. But it won't be long for you. All right, 15 minutes are up, Jules. Okay, now we're going to release the pressure manually. Ready? Do it. Whoa. <laughs> It's That's only part of it. Here, let me do it from this side. Okay. Oh, yeah. I didn't have it all the way. Uh-uh. Wow. All right. Let's remove our lid. Whoa, Whoa. look at that. that. All right, now we need to pull our chicken out. Oh, that's weird looking. I'm going to remove that because it looks like maybe that burnt. Don't you think? I think, I think it's pepper. Oh, yeah, it needs stirred probably. Okay, ooh, it's nice and tender. Wow. So we need to get all of our chicken out and shred it. We might need to let it cool down first. Yeah, I think you're right. There's really no seasoning. So. Yeah. Maybe we're supposed to mix it first. Well, it's gonna get mixed again anyways. Oh, really? Yeah, because you shred it and then you put the chicken back in. Cool. And mix it, so it'll be good. Get off. So you're just shredding it up now? Yep. Cool. Some people use even like a blender. A blender to shred chicken? <laughs> yeah. That's weird. <laughs> got all our shredded chicken and now we're gonna add it back into our instant pot but I stirred it a little bit you guys um, to mix up all the seasonings so let's add our chicken and give it another stir and the recipe says to, at this point to add the bacon the cheese and the scallions but we're gonna dish it up and then individually put those on that way all of us get some on top of our food. Wow, that looks really good, Marty. Yeah, it turned a lot creamier. It's yeah. not so watery with the chicken in there. Yeah, that looks good. We've got the cauliflower rice again here. So we're gonna put some rice in here. And this is just for Jules and I. The kids are having regular rice. Regular jasmine rice. All right, then we'll take our cauliflower rice and we'll put some of this cracked chicken on it. <laughs> Remember, it is cracked chicken because it's so good, they say. <laughs> I don't know though, really, Jules. I have a, I just have like a doubt feeling inside of me that it's really gonna be tasty. Why? I don't know, just all the, it's really white, you know? <laughs> it's supposed know. to be white. <laughs> so we'll put some of this on it. Scallions, put bacon. Put some of this on it. And cheese. And we'll put some of this on it. Ooh, that looks pretty. It's not white anymore. That's true, it's not. <laughs> All right, here we go. Sorry, I am a little nervous though. Uh -huh. All right, so we got some cauliflower rice, chicken, sauce, cheese, and those green things. Here we go. Think it's really hot? Yes. Probably. Hmm. Wow. It's pretty good. It is pretty good, but it's not quite crack. <laughs> I've never had a crack before. But it's not addictive. I think that's the point. It's supposed to be addictive. It's so good, you want to eat it again tomorrow. The other one was better. Which one? That butter chicken. Oh yeah. Was better. But this is good. It, you know, the second bite kind of grew on me. Let me okay. try it again. Sarah, you want to try? Yeah. Okay. Hot. Grab a bowl. Yeah. The third bite's even better. It's good. It's good. I'll go with good. Yeah. You know, I'll even put a little bit more on there. Is this for Jeff and me? Yeah, you gotta share the rice. <laughs> All right, Sarah, let's see if you like it Wait. more or less than your father. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna spoon. Hopefully, she likes it less than her father. 
<laughs> yeah. Um, Careful, it's gonna be hot. Did you put bacon on it? Mm -hmm. Oh, you gotta put bacon. Hmm. Tastes like a pasta. Pasta? It? Yeah, like some kind of Alfredo or something. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. It's pretty good. I prefer chicken over pasta. Like, <laughs> like <laughs> As the base. chicken, not pasta. Yeah. yeah. It's good. Yeah. It's just a, I do just like good. the butter, butter chicken better. Butter though. chicken but better? Yeah. All right. <laughs> So guys, if you want to try that butter chicken recipe, there's a video right over there. You can go ahead and click and go check out that video. Super good food. Well, anyway, guys, we hope you have a really great day. Thank you,